All right, here's something interesting that I found. Uh, this is the Red Book of Motion Picture Talent from November 1924. Um, I, don't know, I don't know how many of these there are in existence anymore. Look, my hand. So uh, I'm doing this as a video. I should probably move my, my lamp out of the way. I'm doing this as a video because I don't have a scanner that will scan this book, and I don't want to damage it. So hopefully the video does it justice. Uh, I actually don't know who this is. Um, not familiar with. I mean, obviously, it says who he is, but uh, it's not familiar to me. I'm sure some Phil Bumps are uh, familiar with him. And here's a name we've all heard. And, uh, of course, uh, if you need to read any of this, uh, there's probably a pause button on your YouTube. So go ahead and pause it if you want to read any of it. And I'm just trying to get through all the pages so that everyone can get an idea of what they're going to see. I also don't have any idea what an ingenue lead is, so um, I'll probably have to Google that after I've done this, just out of curiosity. Now this is really boring right here, and I'm, I'm only doing it so that people can see all the names. Um, there are, in fact, pictures of these people since it is a casting book. Uh, and we'll get to those shortly. If you want to fast forward uh, to see that. Hey, look, there's Bathing Girl. See, that might be, I don't know, something. Anyway, uh, then, then fast forward. I'm not stopping you. Grand Dame Types. Underworld Types. Wow. I don't even know what that is either. Sounds kind of awesome, though. That's the kind I'd be trying to date if I was alive in 1924 and single. So this uh, this stuff here with all the, um, the writing that's in it, and you'll see in some places, um, that was all written by the original owner of this book, uh, Grace Fredrickson who I guess was a, an extra or supporting actress in the 1920s. That's, uh, that's the person who owned this book. I don't, I can't really read that. got some striking eyebrows I wonder how many of these movies that these ladies were in I wonder how many are even still in existence. Uh, I understand that a large number of early films, like like some 90% of early films, literally don't exist anymore.
Oh, look at that. So that's uh, that's the myth of the, you know, women in the 1920s were were chunkier. She doesn't look very chunky, and that's not Photoshop because I don't think they had a whole lot of Photoshop back then. So it even says on a lot of these. So she was five feet five inches, 114 pounds. And a lot of them will have that. I, I, it, I noticed a lot of them have the, the specifics of them. Uh, and that includes, I noticed some of the ones that are not cast as little starlets, but the ones that are, you know, that are cast as, um, you know, just typical character actresses, um, where, where let's say the, the, the weights and dimensions wouldn't be considered flattering by today's standards. Uh, they still have them, you know, like, like, you know, 190 pounds or whatever will still be on there. Boy, look at, that's, that's an interesting hairstyle to go along with her big round face. <laughs> you don't forget that. Oh, look at those eyebrows, man. This lady's got some character to her. Just in case anybody happens to be watching this video and decide that they would like a clearer photo of any particular one of these things, you know, I I got weekends free, so if you want me to take a clearer picture of one of them with less glare and uh, in photographic format, I mean, I don't have any material other than this book, and, and it won't fit in my actual scanner, but I can take a clear picture, so if you, uh, if you happen to want one, uh, just let me know who it is, and uh, I will find it and try to do my best for you, just, just for... Uh, just to be a bro or whatever. So I guess that's what they mean by grand dame. Yeah, I could see her playing uh, playing a grand dame. Whatever the hell that means. Oh man, I think that's Sam Kinison's wife. That's pretty hardcore. So I admit I'm not really uh, I'm not really like an aficionado of uh, older films. Uh, you know there are, there are a few that I really enjoy like um, like I really thought Shadow of a Doubt was a fantastic film, but even that was a lot later than than when all these women were active. Um, but I I don't recognize them like I don't know that I've actually read their names on films that I've seen. So it'd be kind of interesting to see what they ended up doing. Uh, even Ward Wing, who clearly, I mean, he's got a page to himself, and he's a handsome dude and all that stuff, like, I can't say I ever heard of him. Man, that's a killer, killer signature. I'm a little jealous. So then the second half of this book is Gentlemen. Um, I actually haven't looked through this part of it because I figured I'd go ahead and do the video. Um, and, and let's be honest, I like looking at women more. Even if they're, you know, well, let's, let's just be honest, they're long dead. Um, <laughs> they were a lot nicer to look at in their time. Uh oh 
I don't want to. I don't want to tear these. It's going to take a second to get this kind of unstuck. There we go. Heavy men. I like how when they had the, the women, it's, I think it said fat women. And for men, it says heavy men. <laughs> I guess that's like, uh, I don't know, is that sexism? Oh, this one's stuck together too. Hang on. I gotta just work my hand under here a little bit real quick. Chinese types? <laughs> I don't know how you could be a Chinese type. Just foreign, just generically foreign. Are you foreign? Hmm. Well dressed? I, I would imagine you could make any man be well dressed if you dressed him well. Oh. Yeah, this, this. Spent the last 15 years at least inside of a, like an old shed. So, uh, I don't know, you know, <laughs> it hasn't been taken too care of. Boy, look at this guy. Got a chiseled jaw and all that good stuff. A lot of these say remember. I don't know if this is the um, the the previous owner of this book uh, saying that they remember working with that person, uh, because like in the case of this one here, this Norman Carey, uh, obviously that says met him. The ever present cigarette. People forget how much we all used to smoke. Everywhere. Yes, of course. Huh. Maybe that's like a game of would you. Oh, this dude looks shysty. Okay, punch you in the face. I'm really sorry if you're getting bored here. You uh, you don't actually have to keep watching if you don't want to. I'm just trying to get everything for, for the sake of uh, thoroughness. I want a beer. All this beerly, that sounds delicious. I'm not sure. Look, it looks like someone actually took a pencil or a pen or something, and and I don't know if you could see that. Like tried to kind of give him a little bit of plastic surgery with a pen. Uh, I guess maybe was it himself or somebody didn't like how unchiseled his jaw was. But uh, huh. all right, a lot happens in a lot of years, I guess. Oh, it almost looks like he's not holding that up with his hands. He's just holding that up. Uh, with his badassery, if you know what I mean.
Check it out. Eyeliner. Daniel Boone wearing eyeliner. That's hardcore. I bet that guy'd be a hell of a lot of fun to drink a beer with. That guy kind of looks like uh, like Paul Rubens a little bit. And this guy looks like an like an old Picasso. Oh man, here's just like a picture of a guy. Like I mean, you know, a, a drawing, an etching of a guy. I mean, these are people that like they actually appeared in films, right? In moving pictures. And here's a, a drawing of a dude. All right. I like the shading on the hat though. That looks that looks like a shiny ass hat. And look at this guy. Oh man, that that I want to swashbuckle with him. Eric Main. Main swashbuckler dude. Like a conquistador. And this guy's kind of like maybe like Danny Trejo's great grandfather, who's I don't know, got a sweet mustache. Dick fuckins. Yes, I am 12. Uh-oh. Hang on. Enjoy sitting here for a second. All right. Sorry, I just didn't want to rip the page. Bull Mondana. What a name, Bull. <laughs> That guy's got crazy eyes. I don't know if you can even catch this in the film. Look at that. Ooh, but he's got two ladies. They may be tied up, but he's got two ladies. Oh, wait, no, they're tied up. They're just chilling. Well, you know, got to hand it to Dick Sutherland. That guy knows how to party. Oh, I got I to gotta set the phone down again. I like how some of them are wearing accessories. Like, here's a suggestion of how to cast this guy. All right, so here's, uh, I guess, the children's section or something. Um, look at the hair. I want a wonder cat. The wonder horses. Everything's wonderful. Fluffy is not a wonder. Jack dog. Alright, I don't... I guess these are less interesting. This is like, hey, credits, just slide past them. I don't know why anybody would necessarily need this currently. These are, I guess, the people you would get in touch with if you wanted to be involved in any of this stuff. It's probably less interesting. So, sorry. It looks like uh, sweeps past it all. Who's this? Oh. There's a lot written in the text here.
here's the, uh, I guess the classifieds. Oh look, at Pier 30 at age of 60, through the use of radioactive clay. I know how that works out. You get superpowers that way. Or cancer, one of the two. Superpowered cancer. And uh, that. And some more classified stuff. Radio Smithy. <laughs> Dude, I like that. Dan's Lunch. A good place to eat. What more do you need to say, honestly? I don't know who Dan is, but hopefully he makes delicious lunches. Alright, well, um, I hope that you... Uh, you're probably not watching anymore. Alright, well, there, there it is.